fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Shonda with Stocked and Stuff. I am here for installment number two, February for Share It Saturday 2021. And I will be again sharing with you on how to use your Cricut Design Space um, software if you have a Cricut. And I have a Cricut Maker and so um, I believe the software is the same no matter what. You remember that I already had some files uploaded into my, on my mat. I guess they call this the, the mat. And so I um, have this free SVG that I got somewhere that has several words and I just clicked on the arrow I, I clicked to highlight it I clicked on the arrow to just enlarge it so that we can see what we have now I want I don't want to to cut all of these I want to create um, something different so I think that you know now a lot of people use the term um, boy mom, girl mom, girl dad, that kind of thing. So I think I want to do a shirt, design a shirt that says girl mom. So I want to use girl and mom and I like that they're both in this kind of cursive um, font. So the first thing I'm going to do is click it again and I'm going to ungroup it. Now I am going to um, uh, I want to move mom, but notice that mom is in two parts. So I'm going to move boss just out of the way so that I can do what I need to do. And I am going to grab the corner next to mom and I'm going to regroup that so that I can move it around freely without having to move both letters. Then I'm going to do the same thing with girl, but notice again, it is also in two parts. So I'm going to grab girl and I am going to regroup that. And then I'm going to move that over here. Now, I like these little, I don't know what you call them, but I am going to grab those as well. And the easiest way might be to move boss <laughs> so let me regroup boss and get it out of the way and then I can grab these group and group now these are the pieces that I want if I think that I would that I'm going to use anything else on this uh, for this project then I could simply just regroup them all and hide them if I if I don't really uh, want to deal with them I can delete them but I'm going to save them um, in here just just because really so I've got them highlighted and you remember from last month you go to the top notice that it's grayed out over here on the right and you're going to basically cross off that I so now I have the pieces that I want to use in this video or on the shirt. So I have girl mom up. So let me see. I want to use these in a way so that they're kind of accenting girl. So I'll work with these a minute until my hand I think I'm going to do that so it's almost like parenthesis and maybe I'll move that down a little and curve that and all right so I'm going to group that there and I, I use my grid lines and my ruler a lot because um, when I am making shirts, I, I need those because I have a guide that tells me how big a, a design should be on a shirt. And generally, if you're making an adult shirt, um, and I'm usually making medium, medium to extra large, then your design should be 
between nine and ten inches and so I unlock this on the left so that I could make this bigger because if I were to just stretch it the words would not uh, be in good proportion so um, I'm going to do this 10, 10 by 10 and that will um, I think that will be good for the shirt all right now I just want to show you a couple of things I did group this but I could change the colors or do whatever when you're just doing word SVGs it doesn't matter what color it is on the screen unless you want to um, create a mock-up or do something like that which I will show you that today but um, if you're just doing it for yourself and you're not sending it to sending the picture of it to anyone you can leave it black and then just um, or, or whatever color doesn't matter and then just change your vinyl out but I do I'm going to make this um, so so I need to ungroup it because I do want to do some color changes and so I'm going to make girl pink let's make that pink all right and then I'll leave mom um, black now I'm going to regroup that but I am not going to attach it because if I attach it girl the the letters of between girl and mom will become the same color and that's not what I want I just want it to be grouped so that it will um, be in that color uh, stay in that color would be grouped I, I do want to say one more thing let me let me ungroup this a second because actually the smart thing to do would be for me to attach girl so that it cuts just like this and then to attach mom because we know that that M is is, is not attached it's just grouped and then it could um, it could end up uh, cutting in a different order because it will the machine will try to fit it on your mat as tightly as possible and which I love that because then it saves vinyl for you all right so I think we're good there now if I'm gonna duplicate this because sometimes I have when I start manipulating it I can't get it to um, come back and do what I want it to do so I'm going to hide that one and I want to see if my sizing looks good so I'm going to click over here on the left see I move my, my mouse to the left I'm going to click template and it will take me to a Cricut template um, file or library basically and I'm just kind of scrolling through looking for a basic t-shirt so I'm going to use this woman female scoop neck tee so I'm clicking that so it gives me a template and I and it it, it scales it so that I can see how if this is a good look for the shirt so it kind of gives you an idea so do I like that do I want to make it a little bigger um, so it kind of covers all the way down it gives it gives you that idea so I think I like the way it looks um, you can find guides for where how far down it should be on depending on the type of shirt it's two to three inches from the neckline is the basic um, is the basic formula for that now I um, so I do like that so I think I'm going to say okay this is a good a good fit now I'm back to my main project again and if I want to um, do a mock-up to see to send it maybe to a customer or whoever I'm making the shirt for I would do an upload of um, a t-shirt now so when you go to um, browse on back it takes you back to your main page from upload um, 
you it will take you to the files on your computer and I have a file called mockup backgrounds now sometimes I get them free from SVG um, SVG you no know, design bundles I think is where I get them a lot of times they'll have uh, different ones so I'm just going to use a white t-shirt because I have pink and black on here so I just um, I just usually I, I always click, click complex because it just makes it makes life easier because I never know um, what it's going to be and you just whichever one shows up you save it because we're not printing this um, and I will show you how I do create um, a mock-up for customers to see because I don't make any shirts for anyone without them seeing it <laughs> so I would take this down oh no 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 I don't want to do that in the un and then I will make it smaller that way and then I'm going to and then I come up here to arrange. You see how that went to the back? I'm going to come up here to arrange and I'm going to move the shirt to the back. Okay. And then I want to make this smaller so I can see. Well, I actually could have made the shirt bigger. How about that? <laughs> and then I can make this bigger. Well, let's do this because I already have it kind of sized out to scale. And then I can actually um, see it on the shirt. So that's how you make mock-up. It's really simple. Um, the person can say, I like it, I don't like it, um, whatever they wish to do. And then what you would do in order to send it to them, now you could do one or two things. If you have windows, you can do snip it and just snip the picture out for them. If usually what I do is a print to cut and then I just don't cut I print I um, I'll just save it as a PDF or a JPEG and I will um, put it on a flyer email and send if I'm sending it to somebody Facebook I'll use snippet um, because then I can just get a quick picture of it and you saw in my files ups in my files we had an update this week I don't know if you all saw that and boy, I've had a time this week with um, with my Cricut, and so I I've been really struggling with it. So here I have mockups in some different files, but here's a mockup that I did. The, I had an order for a family set of um, the family wanted Black Lives Matter shirts, and I used a design bundles background, which made it look really professional. Now that white T-shirt that I showed you, I uploaded that one from um, I just Google white T-shirt and it, and I uploaded it. And look how beautiful that is. Um, and I so I was able to send that to them first. I just wanted to share that with you, and I will put the link to design bundles in. The description box of this video so again there's one there's one way and you can also use the template so those are the two ways that you can kind of figure out if the shirt is what you want it to be so today we went through um, um, cutting or you know ungrouping and and moving around pieces of an SVG uh, color changing using mockups and um, attaching and and uh, grouping so hopefully you learned a little something today uh, thanks for watching and please check out the other collaborators on share it saturday have a great day